Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, Cobble? Marit? Uh, uh, hey, this is Yasna. Uh, I was just with you. And now, I don't know where I am. Or how I got here. Uh, I've got a splitting headache. Does anyone hear me? Base, do you copy? Are you there? It's probably nothing serious. No damage to the suit or bone structure. Just <clears throat> this headache. for a moment my receiver's dead but the transmitter may still be working I have two solid hectobars in the tank it's enough for several hours damn it I've lost my beacon where is it thought nothing <laughs> I'm on my own the beacon can't be detected either there aren't many supplies which would suggest a quick recce or was that just the end of the mission See if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. landers to the surface they usually do this maybe the first one broke the first group explored the ocean with no biologist it's weird and the other one just me took a different route leading to Right. I was heading straight to the camp. You must be somewhere near. Give me a sign. Send up a flare, the probe. Anything. Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. I'm looking for something that resembles a dog. structure which does not resemble any canine
that rope. I, I think it's mine. I'll try to retrieve it later. It might come in handy. I'm checking another object, which also doesn't match. Oh, focus. I called Needle. Right. It resembles the eye of a needle. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. which doesn't make it easy to navigate. Oh, I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. your trackers. might be awake, but my brain is still in the fridge. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. Clearly your sense of humor was first awake. Now, try to get up, slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Always 
the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. <sighs> Kovel, will you help me here? Sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yes, now look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Crew. Astrogator. The bathing chamber in 50 minutes. Uh, this can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. to go. On some planets, such storms last for several hundred days. I hope it's not one of them. If this area is volcanically active, ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear, and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. meters in a straight line I, I see you can you hear me I just need to get down from here I can't get down this way but I can secure the rope. 
Here the ground slopes a little more gently, which doesn't mean it's completely flat. All right. I want to see you as soon as possible. I'll take a chance. Less than ideal. But I'm okay. The suit's fine too. much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But... I don't remember it. Did... Did I black out again? Closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. are heavy and Bill is not inviting Legs become too heavy Hands become too weary Don't go. Life is not that 
it's scary. I remember you, Regis Third Satellite. Astrogator, sir. Crew? Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near-surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the word of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, don't you? I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae... But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. Mm, that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Mm. Anyway. We'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analyses? Well, it's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun's seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this? together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff. Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. <sighs> Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? 13 days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cobalt. 
Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. A amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage. Feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry. Not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Artie to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? Everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Andropot. Stop. Andropot, stop. Have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again. Ah, uh, well. Never mind. Oh, Dr. Crowther. Didn't you hear me earlier? Uh, doctor. Is everything all right? <laughs> Doctor, please, look at me. I report that I've located Dr. Crowther. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing. One, two, three. Copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther at the camp, and he's not well. What happened to him? I, I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse two. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the Doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders. And there were no visible injuries. So I test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane of the atmosphere? Uh, no. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Okay. 
What should I do? Uh, we look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. Hello? A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 3-16. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broken. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the other doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowther. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the sick are gonna make them wait. Right, the others. We've no time to lose. Exactly. All right, you tin bastard. One more time. Fascinating. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. <laughs> Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. And Novick? Is his still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. And Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind. Sad. That suit is pinching and cramping just at the near sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the void. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if Enjoying everything that's around us was almost a... Oh, please spare me these lamentations. The only thing I can do is walk along the Dragonfly Corridor. Ah, you're not missing out on anything, Yasna. Crackling suit, big gloves, oh, debris hitting the helmet's glass. But the beach is like the one at home, right? Uh, uh almost. We have to examine the composition of the ocean water. Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Gladly. Come on. Where are you going? Over. For a little, um, uh, 
Fires at a quick wreck distance. 100. I'm gonna take a look around. All right, Cobble. I'll allow you to call this wreck of yours. Copy that. Thank you. You're too soft on it, Yasna. I know. I know. 500. Damn me. Am I seeing this right? Dr. Crowther, would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like... Cobble, did you hear that? School of they found something. <laughs> I'm coming. It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. A catch at least one for examination. Then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Stop it! What did you do? I had to electrocute it. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking a specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, yes, sir. <laughs> Focus. What now? point in going back this way. I found the area marked by Dr. Crowther. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send hopper, sir. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, wh what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. 
Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Geological cross section measurements. These are Marit's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. I think I know where I can find her. Signals coming from the castle backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Marit! Marit! Marit, wake up. Wake up. Do you hear me? Dr. Marit? No. No vital Thank functions. You. What's going I need on? to. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Come on. One, two, nothing. Don't do this to me, Merit. Don't. Please. Live, damn it. Breathe. Merit. Everything will be fine. All fine. Cobble's next. Yes, I think so. You should be close.
do you think? Cosmo. Let's not assume the worst. You'll find the doctor alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Kovel? Kovel? His eyes are so empty. Just like Crouch's. Kovel! What the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crouch's? He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Asna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Cobble on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. It's everywhere. In pieces. Nah, not good. Cobble was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them, but it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's, uh, nothing about Dr. Gorski. Ah, found them. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Kovel to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier. We got him. When you're there, Put Dr. Cobble in the seat. I'll connect to the Andromon through the man that's out Haven't you rebooted yet? No, not quite. But it will work now. The land is already descending. to find a consistent pattern. All of this seems insane. Pure chaos. But I don't believe in coincidences. The greatest threat to humans is usually, well, humans. So I believe our crew members have fallen victim to the Alliance's actions. I must say, in any other situation, I'd be sure of it. The Invincible, however, is not in the nearest system yet. Their other ships have never even ventured near these regions of the galaxy. Or at least, there's no indication. Except for all these disturbing events. Hmm. Right. Something doesn't add up. 
see you up there. Only Gorse Key's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. Shouldn't I go back for Merritt's body? No. No, there's no need. I just regained control of the Androbot, so please, leave it to me. You did everything you could for a doctor. Now, Dr. Gorski needs your help. I'm leaving the excavation site. Huh. How did he come down? <clears throat> oh. huh. I've got Gorski's signal. So soon? It's unlikely to be here. Then who? You were correct, sir. It's just our probe. It looks inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides, you'll see. Okay. I'm opening the probe. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it. And then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. A photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. Wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. I, I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Twelve hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures? Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging, and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Astrogator. I'm just letting you know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. It happened in a matter of seconds. But there's... There's nothing except dunes. Sand, a few rocks, a shadow. A shadow? Another sandstorm, I guess. All right, Doctor. Let's move on. You may turn on the fuses now. We'll take the probe with us. Now I can give commands to the probe. And? What do you see? Is it working correctly?
If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Oh, it'd be nice to have some company. I, I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. That's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. Please enter B. B E E. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. 